welcome to my channel today we are going to solve some of the important problem from the circuit analysis uh, for the preparation of the competitive exam so already i posted uh, some of the videos related to this subject uh, if you want to learn that videos means i will give link uh, for that playlist in the description box you can refer it okay so now we can start the thing uh, the first question you see the voltage across the terminal a and b in the figure is uh, dash okay this is the given diagram so in this diagram this is the point a and this is the point b so our question is to uh, we have to find a voltage across this terminal a and b okay so across this terminal a and b there is a 2 ohm resistor is connected and uh, other than this 2 ohm resistor uh, uh, one one more 2 ohm resistor and one ohm resistor is there with the supply voltage uh, 1 volt battery and this is the 3 amps current source okay so we may use uh, any analysis in order to find the voltage across this a and b so now we are going to solve this problem using kvl okay so here you see here how many loops are there how many loops there are two loops okay uh, so for each loop uh, you just consider the current so let us consider current flowing in this first loop you take it as a i or i1 and the current flowing in the second loop it is equal to this current source value okay so that's why the current flowing through the second loop is it's a 3 amps okay so our aim is to find out a voltage across this 2 ohm resistor so voltage across this 2 ohm resistor is nothing but the resistance value multiplied with the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor so what is the actual current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor it is the addition of the current i plus this 3 amps okay since this 2 ohm resistor is common for loop 1 and 2 okay that's why the current flowing is it is addition of current i as well as this 3 amps okay so in order to find out the voltage first we have to find out the current i okay so that's why you just write uh, kvl kirchhoff's voltage law to loop 1 so if you are writing kvl to this loop 1 so 1 okay uh, so you know kvl the sum of voltage rises equal to sum of voltage drop so in this loop if you are taking here means it's a minus to plus it's a voltage rise of value 1 equal to 2 into i 2 into i is the voltage drop across this resistor plus 2 into what is the actual current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor i plus 3 okay so 2 into i plus 3 okay then now you just rearrange it so here 2i if you are expanding we can get 2i plus 2 into 3 6 so 4i uh, then uh, if you are giving this 6 to another side means we can get minus 5 so from that the current calculated as current i is equal to minus 5 divided by 4 okay so here this i uh, this current i uh, it gives the value of minus okay so why minus means uh, the current flowing in a opposite direction that is the mean okay then uh, then we have to find the total current through the 2 ohm resistor what is the total current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor it is i plus 3 amps okay so that's why you see uh, so i i is minus 5 by 4 plus 3 so if you are taking lcm we can get a 7 divided by 4 amps okay so finally therefore the voltage across uh, the this terminal a and b is nothing but that is voltage across this terminal a and b it is nothing but v a b is equal to current total current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor into 2 okay so 7 by 4 into 2 which is equal to 7 divided by 2 it's a 3.5 volt okay so this is the answer the voltage across the uh, terminal a and b it is nothing but a 3.5 volt okay so this is the first question and uh, you see the next question determine the resonance frequency of the circuit okay so this is the given circuit so this is the parallel rlc circuit so for this parallel RLC circuit, uh, we have to find the resonance frequency, okay? So here you see uh, capacitor, resistor, and the inductor is connected in series with one small resistance, okay? The inductor is having uh, internal resistance of uh, 2 ohm is there, okay? Uh, so in order to find out the resonance frequency, that is resonance frequency, uh, you know, at a resonance condition, uh, the reactance of inductor is gets cancelled by the reactance of capacitor at a resonance frequency this entire circuit it will provide the resistive impedance okay that is the condition so in order to find out the resonance frequency first 
we have to find out either total impedance or admittance okay so here instead of uh, calculating impedance here we are calculating admittance why okay since uh, the three branches are connected in parallel okay since if the three branches are connected in parallel means uh, instead of impedance the admittance calculation is very easy so the admittance uh, why is nothing but so you know the admittance is nothing but it is the uh, that is a uh, admittance of uh, the first branch what is the first thing capacitor so you know the admittance of uh, the capacitor is 1 divided by 1 by j omega c okay so here the c value is 0.1 so 1 by 1 by j omega c means it can be written as a j omega c okay then plus what is the admittance of this resistance branch 1 divided by 10 okay then plus uh, the admittance of this branch is nothing but 1 divided by this resistor and inductor is connected in series so we can written as 2 plus j omega into l value okay then uh, in that thing uh, we have to uh, that is uh, we have to split this uh, impedance admittance term into real part as well as imaginary part if you are equating the imaginary part to zero means we can get the corresponding resonance frequency okay so for that uh, in that third term you just multiply both numerator and denominator by its complex conjugate what is the complex conjugate of this term 2, 2 minus uh, Uh, j to omega okay so you just multiply both numerator and denominator by its complex conjugate so 2 minus j to omega 2 minus j to omega here so we can get a 2 minus j to omega divided by uh, a plus jb a minus jb if you are multiplying we can get a square plus uh, that of b square okay so four uh, then uh, plus uh, here Uh, so four plus four omega squared. Okay, a squared plus a uh, two uh, omega the whole squared. So four omega squared. Okay, then uh, the capacitor value is point one. And uh, already you know at a resonance condition the imaginary part becomes zero. Okay, so what is the imaginary part of this total admittance? Uh, this point uh, one omega and as well as uh, minus. 2 omega divided by 4 plus 4 omega squared. Okay, so 4 divided by 4 omega squared. So in that thing, uh, you just equate it to zero. So if you are equating, so omega not uh, uh, into 0 point 0 point 1 is equal to 2 omega not divided by 4 plus 4 omega not. Okay, so I missed to write 4 here. Uh, then uh, after cross that is here omega not omega not cancel. Then we can write four plus four omega naught squared is equal to two divided by point one. Two divided by point one is twenty. So from that uh, uh, omega, uh, that is you take four outside. So if you are taking four outside, one plus omega naught squared is equal to twenty divided by five. Okay, so twenty divided by uh, sorry four. Twenty divided by four, it is five. Okay. So one plus omega squared is equal to phi. So omega squared is equal to phi minus one. Uh, okay, so phi minus one. So omega squared is it is four. So omega squared is four. So that's why the omega not is two. Okay, so two radians is the correct answer. So not this four radian. Two radians per second is the correct answer. Okay, since here uh, you see one divided by two plus j. Two omega. So this is the correct answer. 